Last night, a handful of controversial gun control bills took a significant step forward as the current legislative session is set to end in a matter of days. On the national level, a newly passed law has expanded background checks aimed towards sales at gun shows. CBS 13's Asia Reed brings us to this weekend's Wiscasset Gun Show to hear from Maine gun owners. Hundreds of firearms enthusiasts came out for the Wiscasset Gun Show Saturday. Link Sample says guns are a passion of his and says events like this one are a way for people with a common interest to come together. Owning a firearm isn't just about owning a firearm. Most of us are fascinated by the way they operate. In the wake of October's mass shooting in Lewiston, efforts have ramped up at the State House to enact stricter gun control laws. It has been a long controversial topic across the country, too, as Biden's administration is closing the so-called gun show loophole, putting in place requirements for expanded background checks at events like here in Wiscasset. Under this regulation, it will not matter if guns are sold on the Internet, at a gun show, or at a brick-and-mortar store. I don't think they're, I don't think they're going to be effective in uh, the latest ones, the expanded background checks, the, certainly the 72 hour waiting period. Several gun control bills were passed through the main Senate Friday night, where some Republican lawmakers disputed how effective these bills would be towards keeping people safe. These bills that passed Friday night still need to pass a vote in the main house. Senator Lisa Keim of Oxford says these bills, like one that would require a 72-hour waiting period for most firearm purchases, could put people in danger by not allowing them to protect themselves, specifically pointing to women in domestic violence situations. What right do we have to tell a woman that she cannot go and get something that will defend herself against someone who is going to harm her? or her children. Though some Maine Democrats, like Senator Ann Carney, argue against these claims. An abused woman who purchases a firearm, the purchase of that firearm increases the risk of inter in intimate partner homicide by 50%. Next week, lawmakers will discuss the highly anticipated red flag bill, which would allow a judge to sign off on having guns taken away from a person who possesses a threat to themselves or others. In Wiscasset, Asia Reed, CBS 13 News.